This video is to show the operation of a variant of the Bedini SSG that I tinkered together after a visit to the local Maker Fair, in which I saw a, some science students had put together a, an electric pendulum clock, and it occurred to me the mechanism that they were using to make their electromagnetic pendulum swing was very similar to the uh, pulsing electromagnetic coil in the Bedini, so I came home and put together a pendulum uh, for the Bedini machine, and I will show you how it works. Uh, on the right you see the my smaller 16-inch uh, wheel Bedini. I've modified it so that the wheel is easily removable, which I'll remove right now. It just comes right out. In its place, I want to use this pendulum, which is simply a piece of basswood with an axle. And at the bottom is one of the same C8 magnets, the same kind used, ferrite magnets used on the, uh, the wheel itself, simply glued to the end of this uh, basswood rock uh, stick. Now the pendulum hangs on the same axis as the uh, wheel. I use a couple of push pins just to hold the axis down. The axle down. Like that. Now the uh, power supply you see on the left with the, in the red covered box is a 12 volt transformer the sort intended to power like a doorbell. Uh, it routes its power through a full wave rectifier and a 1000 microfarad electrolytic capacitor which smooths out the uh, pulsations of the current. The circuit on the board is the standard SSG circuit with a uh, transistor, two diodes, and a potentiometer. And uh, I will plug the power supply in. Um, you will see over above the power supply here, here's the power supply. This is a 12 volt gel cell battery in the charging position, which will be charged by the Bedini uh, machine while it runs. Now I'll plug the power supply in to the wall socket. It's now energized. And I will start the pendulum. And notice it's getting higher and higher each time. The question is, will it go 360 degrees? It's fighting gravity at this point. It's it's pushing. But as the arc gets wider, the pulses get stronger. At least that's my understanding of the circuit. And there it goes, 360. And now it will continue to f rotate 360 degrees with, with each pulse.
Now I have not been able to achieve this effect using 12 volt batteries on the power side. Only this uh, power supply seems to be strong enough to do it. I've used uh, 12 volt car batteries, 12 volt jail cells. I've used other power supplies, but only this particular power supply is, seems capable of powering the uh, pendulum to 360 degrees. And it will do this as long as the power is connected. The uh, coil at the base is a standard sort of bifiler wound coil. 20 gauge and 24 gauge wound together. The core is um, slender steel rods packed tightly into the center of that uh, uh, coil form. There are no bearings on the on the pendulum. It's simply a basswood stick with a hole bored through it and a basswood uh, dowel as an axis, axle, excuse me, and uh, a few zip ties and washers to keep it uh, in place. Anyway, I thought this was interesting. Uh, I might play with this a little more and see what other forms will work besides the standard wheel and now besides the standard pendulum.